Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna go over the best items in the game. Before we continue, I just want to advise you that this video has spoilers unlike my other videos. With that out the way, let's continue. This will not show any shop or highly stat items because these can be gotten whenever and are pretty obvious. We're talking about unique effects and items that can only be obtained a limited amount of time. The first time you encounter an item like this is in Chapter 4 in Savalon. This boy will have a quest that rewards the Brave Suit. If he doesn't for some reason, try clearing out older side quests or visiting a knight. This item lets you start battle with 1 BP. In Chapter 5, you'll be able to go to this cave in Holograd. Follow the path I take for a second Brave Suit. At the end of Chapter 4, you'll get the Golden Hairpin from beating Adam 100% of the time. This item reduces MP consumption by 25%. This is like the Beastmaster passive MP saver, but better. If you want, you can actually stack the effect, reducing MP consumption by over 45%. Let's look at Death's Door original cost of 200 MP. With the Golden Hairpin, this should be 150. Now adding MP saver, it'll go down to 110 MP. There's a second Golden Hairpin that can be acquired in Chapter 7, right here. A bonus item to mention is the Golden Egg. In Chapter 3 you can enter this area which has some high level enemies, but following the path I take will lead to a chest with a Golden Egg. This will double the amount of money at the end of battle. You can later get more of these by stealing from the secret boss Gwilion in the graveyard. In Chapter 5, after beating Genbu, you'll get the Reflect Ring. This reflects back any attack or spell target on the user and is permanent unlike the oracle ability that only lasts 2 turns. In chapter 6 you'll have a side quest that'll reward another reflect ring in Magmel. You can later steal these from the secret boss Gwilion. After beating Edna you can leave and find another solution. Going through the waterfall patch cave leading to Musa will have a cutscene where there's this shiny item in the grass. After the cutscene, go back and pick this up. Teardrop Broche will give 2 BP at the start of battle, and there's only one of these in the game. In Chapter 6, after beating Knight's Nexus, you can leave for another solution. There will be a side quest that will reward the Growth Egg. This doubles the amount of JP you get after battle. I have no idea when this quest became available, but Martha also gives 2 Growth Eggs after completing her quest. From the details of this quest, it may be available after Chapter 5. In Wizwall, there will be a quest here with Elvis. Unfortunately, I lost the footage for this, but I'll ask you to go to the top of the tree at night. After a cutscene, you'll get the Fairy Glow Charm. This item is like the Golden Hairpin with 25% MP reduction and amazing stats. It can be stacked for a whopping 70% MP reduction. For anyone wondering what you get for collecting all the B&D cards, the game will give you Card Sharps Cast. This gives you 2% bonus to JP and money earned after battle for each win you have in B&D. I know it says played, but from testing it only factors in your wins. This does stack with golden and growth eggs and JP up and JP up and up passives for massive JP and money gains. These portals become available at the start of chapter 6. The bosses here drop weapons with the highest stats and all the passives for their class. You heard me right. I said all the passives for their class. In the next video, I'll be going over builds you can use to destroy these portals and become godlike. If you got value from this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to see more. Until the next video, I'll see ya.